Hello everyone. It is Carol from Lily Rose Blue. I hope this finds you well and enjoying the, I, I hesitate to say the last days of summer, but summer is obviously, <clears throat> you know, kind of on its way out. Uh, you know, we'll see. With me are my little mascots and friends, Astrid and Arnold and Amber. And then the triplets are here as well. We have Angel, Adam, and Asa. So I am coming to you today to basically say, don't do what I did. That's, that's one theme. That is one of the themes. So here is a basket. I know you can't quite tell what this basket is all about. Um, I had my ruler and then somehow lost it. So this is, this basket is 14, 14 by 10 and eight inches deep. That is the basket that I have had my flowers, my paper crafting flowers in for years, years. Um, that basket was so full, so f there was some organiz there was some organization. Don't get me wrong, but that basket was so full that I quit using flowers because every time I touched it, things would fall out. It wasn't going well, so. I just didn't I just didn't use it and I hadn't really done a deep dive into that basket for also for years and the third thing and the motivating thing here was that that basket was in what I'm calling prime real estate for my overarching organization reorganization that I wanted to do literally just to the right where I could reach um, and that's really where I want my, the things that I want, want and need to have to make a junk journal. I don't want to have to go, you know, stand up, go sort through something. <clears throat> I'm just trying to get much more organized. So... The first part, or video number one, because I think it's going to take more than one. These, so I have sorted things, done my first pass, I should say, and sorted things by color into these mesh bags. Now, this is a pile of things that are just miscellaneous things, right? So let's take a look quickly um, about this. So these are flowers, <clears throat> excuse me, of course I get on, on to do a video and then I start having a frog in my throat. These are adorable jars of flowers from the company called Prima. Prima is still in existence, they make lovely flowers, um, some embellishments, and beautiful paper. And I would say, by and large, their paper style is more feminine and Victorian, vintage, you know, soft, you know, that, that kind of thing, by and large. Excuse me, I needed to take a drink. So, I love these jars. They are adorable. I don't really have a spot to keep these jars at the moment, so I'm going to have to decide what to do, what to do about that. Whether I keep the these flowers in here like this, 
whether I take them out and sort them all by color, which I could with these two. I can't with that one. That would be ours and, and why? What's what's the point? Um, these I've had for a long time. You could see I've used quite a few out of this jar and, you know, not an insignificant number out of this jar either. This one is uh, a jar that I picked up recently, thrifting at the Crowded Closet. Um, so this was just one way flowers were sold and um, how they were stored in, in my craft room. Very cute. It's a very cute idea. I just don't know if it's going to work in the future. I will we'll see. Then... Um, I just wanted to show you the miscellaneous bags of flowers that I had. I, I remember these were sold this way. Um, I get it. You know, they, they do kind of go together. Um, these are probably, though, flowers that I am going to sort by color. I may keep these together just because they are a bit of a unique design. I don't know. I have to think about that. So I have thinking to do. These I love. Those are lilies. Those are just gorgeous. I've used quite a few of those. Um, here is a bag. Of flowers with buttons so I'm sure this was in a kit look at that cute little fun button I don't know if you can see that or not so yeah so there's buttons in here too oh you know same way with this bag look at that fun button you could run a ribbon through that or whatever so yeah these are felt Again, grouped by color, and you know, um, you know, colors that go together. Sold like that. Same way with this one. This was sold like that. Also felt. Then this was dried flowers that I purchased. Um, I'm not going to do. This is what it is. I don't think I'm. I'm just going to leave those the way they are. Um, in my going through my flowers, I have also been inspired and reminded of some techniques and things that you can do. So this is from, uh, I, this is, I purchased these at Memories on 5th. Um, this was the scrapbook store that I worked in. Um, this was a code that you could tell um, when the product was put out. So this looks like it was put out in 03, which makes sense. Makes sense. Because it was not open in 15. So this is something that you can make yourself. You could take plain or pattern paper. You cut a strip of paper and you just fold it. You just fold it and then you attach it together and voila, you've got this wonderfully cute flower design. You know, this you could just punch, use your circle punch. You could circle punch and put a button on top. So kind of like a fabric cluster, sort of, only using paper, you know, you could put another bigger circle, this circle, button on top. Just, you know, the, the possibilities are limitless. You could stamp on your circle. Um, I might try. I, I've, I've made these in the past. Eh, wasn't my favorite thing to do, but if that's what I really wanted and I didn't have that at hand, I would make it myself. So I am going to put one of these to the side 
to decide if I, I will do a video for you about how to do that. It, again, you guys can figure it out, but sometimes it's just nice to see it in, you know, in a, in a video. So these are flowers from a company uh, called Basic Gray. Basic Gray is no longer a company, sadly. Um, it had some very eclectic uh, papers and products like this. But even though this seems a little, you know, a little wild, man, it worked. You should have saw some of the paper too. But so this has also given me some ideas. Um, this reminds me of Carrie the Paper Monkey's fabric clusters. Um, super cute. Super, super cute. Um, this happens to be felt. And it looks like, you know, they sewed on this felt. But, you know, this is layers of felt. Circles of felt. And they're not round. I couldn't cut a perfectly round circle to save my soul. Even if I marked it, I don't know that I could cut it out. But you know, these are um, eclectic enough. They don't have to be perfect. That appeals to me. And, you know, you could cut out layers or circles of felt and put your button on there. And voila, you've got a fun little embellishment. So there's that. Um, other people make fabric clusters, too. Um, and again, these are just some other ideas. This was another um, flower. You know, there's multiple colors here. I probably will pull out these colors and separate those. I love these flowers. Again, this is from Prima. This is Tool. And uh, let's just open one up. Sorry for the noise. Oh, it's thicker than I thought, actually. That's tool on the top. But this is... It's sturdier than you think. What is that? I'm not sure. That's almost a, a burlap. There's one layer that... A fine burlap, though. Yeah, I think I think burlap, or a or a fabric similar to that. And then look at these beautiful buttons on the top. So pretty, so pretty. Then also from Prima. Here's here's these that poor petals bent over, but again some flowers that I will take off this cardboard, you know, take out of the packaging and sort by color. These I love. Um, also Prima. Uh, so these are, um, you know, you can buy scissors that are fringe scissors. You know, you can cut paper, pet fabric, whatever, and make fringe fringed end. I think that's how these were made or, you know, some, some similar technique. Um, I'm trying to feel it's paper and I would say crepe paper, but it's thicker than, than, you know, like the crepe. I think I got rid of mine like the rolls of crepe paper that you use to decorate. This is a little thicker than that. But how pretty. And of course, beautiful buttons. Beautiful buttons. So that's those. This is uh, epoxy sticker buttons. KI Memories, another company that no longer exists. You know, I just didn't use these. These would be great in my on my scrapbooking pages, but they probably got lost in the shuffle. And then I found 
this package of blue buttons and how cute is that with some lovely buttons in there and this came from close to my heart at some point in time um this is not where i store my buttons so i would have never used these buttons because i would not have known they existed so that is a look at what i'm going to call my miscellaneous flowers that i need to sort I also wanted to show you, you know, just some ideas that came to mind as I was looking through this product. Um, if you are a total DIYer, you can absolutely make some of these flowers yourself. Absolutely. Or you purchase or you keep purchasing because you don't realize that you had something because your organization failed you. OK, we'll just. We'll just call that out. It's okay. And you know, one of the reasons I'm doing this video is just to say, hey, this was my reality. I don't, I hesitate to call it a mistake. It was just my reality. And, you know, this is what I'm going to do to fix it. So there will be another video about flowers. Um, to use as an example of what I'm doing uh, with my reorganization. So stay tuned for that. And guys, as always, thank you so much for watching. If you're new to my channel, welcome. If you uh, are a return watcher, I really appreciate that. Um, it's, it's a wonderful community and we support each other and, and it's just it's just fun. It is just so much fun. And with that, as always, guys, please, please, please take care and stay safe. But also don't forget to have some fun. We need to have fun in our life. And last and certainly not least, God bless. Take care, everyone. Bye-bye.